Hi everyone, it's Linda Canase with iCrafter here to share a uh, tutorial video on how to make our mini slimline zip envelope. And there's a little um, trick to it, but it's very, very easy and I think you'll enjoy it. And it's a part of our Christmas in July collection and I think you'll really enjoy it. So check it out. Project, I am going to be making this mini slimline envelope and I'm also going to be using our fence links stencil and this these pieces are all part of the set and it has 12 dies adorably cute there are some really fun pieces to this so let me just show you one of the the big feature about this zip envelope first off it's a mini slimline size so it if you make a mini slimline card, it will fit inside here. And what you want to do is uh, embellish everything. And before you seal it up, you put your card in here, of course. But this one I've already opened. And you can see once you have your card inside and you seal this up, you will have a zip piece here that is one of those, like, you just pull it open and now the envelope is open and your card will fit in there. I'm going to be doing some inking. So I have some Lawn Fawn. Um, inks, they're Wild Rose and Merman, Merman inks, and I'm using our uh, eye brush blender brushes. First off, you can see that our stencil is larger than an average stencil. It is five inches, oh sorry, by eight and a half inches approximately. So you can make slimline cards with this or uh, regular A2 size cards or vari variations in between. And this is our fence link stencil, which looks really odd. So I'm inking with that. And then I cut some heavier cardstock down to uh, four and a half and then eight and a half. So I have two pieces of that. I'm going to ink it before I cut it, just so I can also show you the trick um, of die cutting the die. That's a little bit tricky. So I am going to just line up the card or my card stuck with the back of this and this is perfect for starting off the first coat um, and you, you'll see you'll do a couple of coats so I'm just attaching it down with some washi tape okay so I'm going to use the wild rose color to uh, add the background and this is kind of a trick with our um, fence link stencil. Now, it's a little sticky because I already, um, on another project, had put some pixie spray. I'm going to try to stay towards the center because I still have to die cut this. But with it down like this, I'm going to try to do a pattern uh, probably in this area, let it fade off and a pattern somewhere over here and let it fade off because in here is where the address label is going to be. So I'm thinking ahead on that. And so this is going to be the first coat. So I want it a little bit lighter. Okay. So I'm going to be using the same, two coats of the same color because I want it to be um, kind of like a shadow and again, I'm just doing a light coat there. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so you can see that you're getting this odd kind of pattern there. So now what you wanna do is remove that. Now we could either take a baby wipe or I just have a damp paper towel ready to go. I'm just going to clean off this. So now this is the way we had it on originally. What we're going to do for the second coat to do the, we're going to turn it like a page. Okay. And then before it was in the top right corner, we're going to shift it up. Uh, and we are going to align this so that everything that was pink that we inked the first time is now going to be covered over. Can you see that? So if I moved it down, you could see some pink showing over here. 
but if you align it correctly, it will cover everything that we did before and now be ready for the second coat. And the more accurate you do this, accurately you do this, the more accurately it'll look when you're done. So let me correct over here because you can see a little bit of the pink showing through. So now you basically you can, can't really tell where you inked before. So let me go ahead and do the second coat. And now what I'm going to do is do this a little bit of a heavier inking. So I'm using the same pink and I know I'm in this corner so I'm going to start inking but a little bit heavier. I'm going to stay in one area and ink a little bit more so it stays nice and um, more concentrated color. But I'm going to move it out. The other thing too is you can also do this with two different shades of ink, um, but I do recommend that you use shades of the same color. Uh, it doesn't look as effective because this is basically the stencil is showing highlights and shadows of the chain link idea. So if you use two different colors, your eye doesn't register it as being shadows and highlights. I'm going to, just to check it, to see if I missed any areas. And I'm using our iClick die pick. Okay, now I need to work on over in this area. And the nice thing about our eye brushes is that it goes into all these nice little areas and applies the ink very well. Let me go ahead and do the big reveal because I think it's just so much fun. So you can see the chain link idea. So one coat makes a highlight and the second coat makes a shadow part. So we're going to do two sh two pieces like this. I'm going to do the other one. These, um, so one will be the front of the envelope and one will be the back. So let me go ahead and do that. This is another piece that comes with this die set and makes this really pretty label um, with the stitched edging. So I'm going to take a little bit of this Merman ink. And I'm just going to add a little color to the edge. So I determined that this will be the front and this will be the back. So this is the part that will have the zip piece. So let me set the front aside. And when you do the back, you want the glue tab on top there. So we're going to place it just like that. And then you have this other piece, which is the actual zipper part. You can see that in there. And what that does, it fits right in there. So let me go ahead and get my machine. Now when you use the iCraft or iMotion machine, when you open up the sides, you definitely want to push it in. And when you close it up, you would pull it out like that and fold it up. So. This will be coming out soon, and we're really excited about it. So that is our iMotion machine that will be out soon. And then it comes with a, the cutting deck, and there's adapter too, an adapter, but we won't need it if we're using our Pro Deck. So I'm going to lay that on there. I'm going to put my background. So I'm going to set it up. And then this is the blade, and you can see that there. This will be what creates a zip. And because this is a magnetic deck, pro deck, you don't even need to do anything else. You don't need tape or anything for that. And then I'm using a one of our translucent cutting decks in pink. And then I'm just going to run this through. And the table will shake a little bit. I apologize for that. And what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to run it backwards again, just to be sure. you get is that comes off and you can see you have this zipper pattern now and I want to point out too look at that pro deck no wrinkles you can barely see anything where you cut just now so I'm gonna go ahead and do show you how to do the front side now now this is the piece I'm going to use, the other piece we had, and this time to do the front of the card. And this is where it gets a little, um, you have to do a couple steps on this, is that instead of cutting on this side, we're going to cut on the back side. And then when we put the, the die down, we're going to have the longer tab down at the bottom. So, so I'm cutting on the back side. And that's why I inked it up so that I could show you distinctly the front and back side of this die. And I am cutting the um, with the tab. This time the tab is at the bottom, the glue tab on that. So I'm going to run it through. Now, what we have is our pattern for the front of the envelope. Okay, so now you have these two pieces. and You have the back, which has a zip part, and then you have the front, which is plain. But you'll also notice you have a uh, glue tab on the left and the top on the back part, and a glue tab on the right and the bottom on the front part. So, what we're going to do... This is where we explain it. I'm going to use my uh, eye press burnisher because that is the handiest thing to have. And now I'm going to fold back across that one and along the and along the top of this piece. And I'm going to use my eye press burnisher to do a nice crisp fold. And I just want to say too that you also want to have whatever you're going to insert in this envelope ready to go the card or whatever because once you seal it up it's sealed you can't open it and put something in it's not like um it's not you can't add it in later you have to do it right now so now what you see is you want this piece like a smile and it has a glue tab along the top and the right hand side and this one which is the front of the envelope and it has the glue tab what would be the left hand side and the bottom so you can see you will have all four sides now will have a glue tab and the easiest way I found to do this to adhere them together is to start off with the shortest side okay? So I'm just going to add some adhesive along this glue tab, which is on the back side of the, of the envelope. And then very carefully, I'm going to adhere it so that it is aligned on this side. And again, you want to have whatever you're going to put in this envelope ready to go because again we're going to seal it up and you can't open it so I'm adding adhesive to the bottom tab and adhesive to this long glue top glue tab and then I'm just going to fold it over and seal it the two sides up so you're doing the top technically the top and the bottom of the envelope we haven't done this side yet. Now this side isn't glued up yet. This is your last chance to insert something that you want to. Um, whatever the gift, the uh, letter, whatever you want to do, your mini slimline card. I'm going to just seal this up because I'm, this is a sample. I'm not inserting anything. So now you have the front of the envelope. And you see I left a little space maybe for a stamp. 
and the return address. You don't have to really worry about that if you don't care, but I kind of tried to do that. And then you'll see you have the zip part. Now, here's another trick. On the zip part, you will see there's a little triangle here, and there's another little shape here, and that's just like the starter for the zip part. And you can remove that before you give the card. It, it kind of um, gives them a hint where to start the zip part. That is the main part of the envelope. The die set itself comes with a lot of different shapes. So we're going to have a little fun with that. And I kind of already started some of the, the um, we saw the label, which is going to go there. You could see I might do a little more blue on that or aqua on that, but that's where I'm going to start. And there are three different heart shapes. And there is a little swallow which I thought was just so much fun and I already assembled it together it also comes with the words deliver to and then the three hearts come in a little bit closer so you can see that and again you can see the different layers on the swallow I think that's just so adorably cute that you could do so many things with that going to, and this is where I like using my um, eye grip tweezers, reverse tweezers, and you can see how it holds everything. It's so nice, and it has a flat head. You can see that? So it has more area that holds it so it doesn't twirl, and you don't stab yourself. And you can always add your return address on the back, because I'm kind of taking up that corner. I'm going to start with the largest uh, stitched heart on the bottom. But you could just have so much fun with this. You could ink some of this if you want. I'm going to just add that there. So now you just would address the envelope. Someone receives this beautiful card inside as well, but then they see this part and it's just kind of a fun idea. I hope you enjoyed that and you enjoyed seeing how easy this is to make. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and click that like button and hit the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thanks. Bye.